Hello my furniture friends, Katie here from Salvage by K. Scott. I am all out of furniture to flip. Well, furniture that I want to flip right now. So today we're going thrifting. When I started this business seven years ago, I was totally flipping furniture and selling it for a profit on Facebook Marketplace and at a few small artisans co-op style storefronts, but my current flipping business looks a little different than most. Because I'm able to earn an income from sharing what I do here with you on social media, I actually made the decision a few years ago to start donating most of the pieces that I work on here on the channel back into my community somehow. I do still sell the occasional piece here and there, but for the most part, the flipping for a profit piece isn't how I profit. All that to say that since I'm on my way to the Habitat for Humanity Restore in town, I'm actually taking a coffee table that I've fixed up and made over with me so that I can donate that back into the system and pick up a coupon to hopefully save a little bit of money on something new I might find while I'm there. I'm hoping that I can find a few pieces that are in need of my services, but also that I can use to create some inspiration and teach some techniques in my videos to share with you. But with thrifting, nothing is ever guaranteed. I've got five different spots on my list of places that I want to stop into today, but the faster that I fill up the back of this car, the quicker this video is gonna be. This store has a color-coded pricing system that changes every couple of weeks so that the items that don't sell right away get marked down to move out. And it looks like right now the blue tags have the biggest savings. Look at how sweet that is. It's super cute. Lots of brand new Easter stuff. or something. $60 for all three pieces. This wall unit's kind of interesting. They've got it marked at $40, but it's pretty junky stuff. Still a useful piece of furniture with some TLC, but it's all particle board and it's got a really sloppy paint job on it. It's missing the bottom section of its backer board too. an East Lake style dresser that's been here for a few weeks now. They originally priced this at $300, which is just way off the mark for the condition that it's in. It's really neat and an antique piece, but it needs some serious repairs and the gloopy white paint job has to get stripped off. It's marked down to $75 now, which I think is much more in line with the amount of work it needs. Here's a look at the back of it too. sofas are something to behold. Definitely not my style. I don't do anything with upholstered furniture anyway, but they're still in really nice condition and would be perfect for a retro style room. I took a long look at this pair of end tables that are marked at $30 each. They're really big and although they're kind of dated, I think they'd be easy to modernize with some new bases or legs to get them up off the floor, a little bit of new hardware and a fresh paint color. They've already been painted at some point and that finish is pretty worn down, but these would make a great project. 
and I see a ton of these solid maple kitchen tables, some with leaves and chairs and some without. They've got this set marked at $60 and I think it would be a fantastic makeover for someone. I'm just not in the mood to take that on at the moment. These two mid-century modern sewing tables just hit the floor. The Beaver brand machine is marked at $50 and the Singer next door is $60. It looks like both machines are working and just need a tune-up. These older cast iron sewing machines are pretty sought after in the sewing community and I see them at thrift stores all the time time. The tables without their machines make really great end tables or taller nightstands too. Here's the partner to that white East Lake dresser. This is a washstand or commode. It looks like it's also had a few modifications over the years to keep it in use. It still needs a lot of work though too and I think for a hundred dollars that's just out of the budget. This dresser is gorgeous. They've marked it at $90 and something like this could easily resell for six to $800 or even more with a new finish and some modern hardware. I love the clover details on here. It's a mix of real wood veneer and laminate. No dovetails on the drawers, but a really nice solid and clean piece. Look at this blonde wood mid-century beauty. They've got it marked at $125, which is a little expensive for me, but this mahogany veneer is just beautiful. The brass hardware on here is killer too, and it's a lane. The cedar lining on the inside is in perfect condition. These have always been great sellers for me, painted or refinished, but you do have to be careful that you modify the latches on these so that they don't lock anymore because there was a massive recall due to several kids getting trapped inside. Here's a little faux tiger oak guy, a great piece, but $200 in this condition is again, astronomical. It doesn't have its original hardware. This looks more mid-century modern instead of antique. And there's just a lot of finish issues on here. It does still have the beautiful harp and mirror with it though. Someone is gonna take this. It's just not gonna be me. Here's another great flipping contender, a solid wood piece from the 80s or 90s. It is a high quality piece of furniture that's just outdated. Again, for an $80 buy-in, this could get a few modernizations to the lines of the bottom and the top edge, a fresh coat of paint and resell in the six to $800 range in a lot of markets. And this would be a great flip too. It's definitely modern, 2000s for sure. Looks like wood from a distance, but is actually a combination of MDF and particle board with a really thin papery veneer over top which is typical for newer built pieces. It looks like the drawer tracks need a few adjustments and you could easily paint this up and resell it fast. I'd be waiting until this $250 price tag got a whole lot lower though. Okay, if that is all I end up getting today, I'm happy. I was here the day that it came in and saw it hit the floor with a $300 sticker on it and said I'd be willing to pay 50. So it's been sitting here. When I saw the $75 tag on it today, I decided I'd pull the trigger. They don't negotiate on prices here, but if stuff sits around long enough, I'm happy with that for 75. It's gonna be a ton of work, but obviously no one else was willing to undertake that job. So I'm happy to do it. It'll make good content and it will make my heart very happy to see it free of all that white paint. Stop number two is the Salvation Army Thrift Store. That is giving anthropology vibes. Can't see in the sun. $9.99. That's sweet. This is a very East Coast set. Prince Edward Island. Salt and pepper. And a little potato pot. <coughs> Cottage Core Dreams. $12.99 for a nine piece set. Cream and sugar are both intact. Four mugs, a little gravy boat, and salt and pepper. Oh, they have this, it's marked at $8.99. Oh, 
hand painted. Oh, oh my gosh, that's special. Okay, let's go find the furniture. Wah, wah. We have this 80s grandfather clock for a hundred dollars. Could be fun to paint, but does not work. And this is the rest of the furniture department. They want $14.99 for this already chalk painted and not sealed end table. No thank you. But this table could be the base of a cool DIY. It's all plastic laminate and particle board, but with a little creativity, I feel like you could add some wood pole wrap to the base and maybe do a faux wood look or faux marble look on the top. There's no price that I can see, but it's not for me anyway. They do have some decent looking lampshades in here right now. I don't need any though. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a piggy bank. That is too cute. Some cool little stuff, but nothing that I need. Definitely no furniture. Stop number three is Value Village. Value Village. This molded plastic mirror for $10.99 would be great in a coquette styled room. A couple of solid wood tables. This knotty pine pedestal base has already sold for $40. And then another little maple guy with an extension for $35.99. I loved the lines on these mid-century chairs. They had two of them, but they belong to a massive set of a table and two huge benches. Too big of a project for me. I couldn't find a price on these either. Some metal table bases for $7.99 a piece. Those would be cool with those stone slabs that I found over at the ReStore on top, if they were the right shape or size. They're not though. And another MCM sewing table. Love the hardware. This one was missing its machine, but it would make a great desk or even a bar cabinet with a few modifications. No price again. Someone is slacking in here today. This stereo cabinet would be a great piece for paint. It's mostly laminate and all of the raised details on the front are molded plastic. I think I'd replace the side panels with something more modern anyway, but the center detail would look great painted. The guts don't look like they're in working condition, but you could use it to hold a new stereo system or record player or attempt to fix it if you know how. There's another Salvation Army store across town. So I'm gonna pop over there. They don't usually stock a ton of furniture, but I have found some pretty neat stuff in there. So may as well go take a look. This drafting table was already sold, but such a beautiful piece. I noticed these amazing hangers too. Oh my gosh, I love these. As I suspected, there's not much in here. They had an old Ikea side table that was already painted for $25 and another single nightstand with totally trash drawers for the same. Can I back up for my cash, please? Back up for my cash, please. I did take a good look at this little vanity table though for $50. It was solid oak. It had really neat velvet lined jewelry drawers, but it was super wobbly and needed a few repairs that I wasn't really sure if I could tackle or not. So I just left that there.
Okay, I have one more ace up my sleeve called Enviro Plus. They only deal with secondhand furniture. So I've got pretty high hopes that I'm gonna find something in there that I can bring home. Another epic sofa situation. Not for me, but I can definitely appreciate it. These night tables caught my eye. They're asking $50 each, which feels like a tiny bit too much. But then again, for a matching set of large night tables, the resale value is pretty high. So they'd still make a profitable flip if you needed them to. And they match the dresser beside them. As a refinished three piece set, I think you could ask over $1,500 in a lot of markets. They want 200 for the dresser, so $300 altogether. They're really clean. Okay, I've changed my mind. These would be a great buy. This MCM set is gorgeous. It looks like it's already sold though. I love the hardware on here, but I'm not sure if I love the bows and the arrows on the same piece together. There's some pretty good veneer damage on the nightstand, but still totally fixable. If those were up for grabs, I'd be getting them for sure. And I loved the shape of this one. It's marked at 175, which is too much for me. The top and the top two drawer fronts are laminate and the rest looks like it's solid wood. This would be killer painted in a modern finish. This one next door looks old from a distance, but it's actually a brand new, super cheap piece with that paper finish over pressed wood. This guy has got some salvaged by K-Scott potential. $160 is a touch high, but not out of the question. I'd probably remove the raised panels on here and do some sort of fluted design instead. Add some legs and some new hardware. It's all laminate over particle board, so it's a good one to muck around with. And here's another East Lake style piece. It's got pin joints on the drawers and I love this hardware. Not 100% sure if it's an original East Lake timeline or a reproduction, but as I'm looking at it, I'm leaning reproduction just based on how clean it is. The top has already been refinished, but that's a great solid piece of furniture that's going to last forever. This Art Deco waterfall chest is gorgeous. Usually the veneer over this top edge has a lot of issues, but this one looks great. The veneer on the drawer fronts looks like it's starting to crack though. And something happened to the bottom two handles, but this is a great little storage piece, probably for a kid's room or a guest room, something like that. Great little desk at a decent price. It is solid wood with nice dovetail drawers that are all in great working condition. Just needs a little shine up. some his and hers waterfall chests happening down here for $65 a piece. This one's got some kind of alligator skin happening in the lacquer though. And there is always a sad pile of lonely little end tables. Well, it might not seem like much, but I am totally happy with just this dresser. I'm gonna keep a look on Facebook Marketplace over the weekend and see if I can find any pieces that pique my interest that are in a little bit better price range. Cause none of the other stuff I found today was really anything that I had to have that really made me wanna get into the garage, except for this thing. Who thinks I can get this done? and fully edited for next weekend's video. I'm not sure if I can get it done that quick, but I'm gonna try. I'll catch you all next time.
Go check it out. It had a new dresser. Did you get a new dresser? You're so pretty. Is you the goodest girl? <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> okay. We go inside and get some cookies. We go inside and get some cookies. Okay. <laughs>